Hey, this is Carl, and today we're going to unbox something very exciting, to me at least, so stay tuned. So we've actually unboxed this uh, statue a few months back already. This is a Spider-Man statue that was sculpted by Caleb Nefson, and this is actually my very first kit. So it took the painter probably like two months or something around that range to uh, paint this statue and now it's finally done. So I'm quite excited for this because it's my very first kit painted. It's sculpted by Caleb. And I know a lot of us collectors really love Caleb Nefzen. Okay, let's start the unboxing now. If you can recall, this is just a uh, museum type statue, hence why the box is quite small. You should tell me down in the comments below on who you guys think is or your favorite uh, professional painter. Maybe I could consider them uh, in future projects and hopefully I can afford them. Hopefully it's not that expensive. Oh, I already forgot that. I thought this one came with an art print. <laughs> I mean art box. I already forgot. I think the sticker for this guy is still here somewhere. Oh, it's kind of too bad that this guy didn't came with uh, Velcro. I forgot about that. Okay. But it did came with the usual black bow. Okay, so we have the base here. Nothing much has changed. It still looks gray, but this time it has a lot more uh, grays and other colors to it. Since the original kit uh, only has that light gray uh, color, the primer color. So I don't have the sticker yet. No, so the sticker is here. Uh, I'm going to stick uh, that later. So the edition size for this Caleb Spider-Man is 50 and I got number 33. So again, this is just a rock type piece. There's a lot of very sharp uh, looking rocks. Very nice print for sure. Doesn't have any 3D print lights, which is nice. Also, as you can recall, uh, Spider-Man won't fit in uh, when I tried last time. And I had the painter fix that already, so he should be good. And here we have Spider-Man's body. Okay, so I went with a glossy metallic paint. Yeah, as you can see, the red is very uh, glossy or shiny. And like I said, it's metallic. There seemed to be a damaged area here on his right thigh. Probably the paint is still wet while he was inside the uh, foam. That's too bad. Anyway, so there's a key here on his right foot, which will go to the base. Now he sits in there perfectly. And as you can recall, uh, both his right hands are supposed to be detachable. So I had the painter fix this. So I don't have to uh, remove them every time I put them back in the box. And I feel like it's more safe that way. So if I accidentally hit uh, the hand, it won't uh, detach itself from the body. So the, I really like the paint, but there's just a few uh black paints that are not within the line here which is too bad uh, i wish that the painter didn't brush that and fix that anyway let's go with the portraits here we have the eyes okay so uh here is one of the portraits and as you can see uh he has attached the eyes here already as you can recall this the eyes are removable they are they are the switch outs of this statue so one of the eyes i have him painted it with alclad chrome so yeah that's one of the portraits for this guy for the second portrait i have him painted it with uh just white glossy white but i did ask him to put some 
honeycomb uh, patterns to it or maybe like a spider web kind of patterns which is really cool something very unique again that's the second portrait and as for the switch out which is the del otto eyes here i just had him painted it with white right it's sealed added tape okay so since these are just magnets you can remove this and let's try the del otto eyes Okay, so we are now using the Del Auto Eyes. I think the Del Auto Eyes is supposed to be like the default uh, look for this statue. But I might not use uh, the Del Auto Eyes since I already have a lot of them back there. And lastly, uh, this is a custom thing added to the statue. I had the painter do this for me, just a small add-on. Thing. So I made him hand sculpt this uh, like a symbiote kind of thing that will be just added here in Spider-Man's back. Kinda like just it's crawling towards Spider-Man. You can actually like maybe install it anywhere. Let's try that if it's possible. Yeah. But I think it fits better at the back. So the point of this is it it's supposed to be Venom, the symbiote, uh, trying to crawl to Spider-Man. Let's do a quick measurement for this guy. The height of the statue is 19 inches tall. The depth is 9 inches. And the width is around 8.5 inches. So I really love uh, how the paint turned out. Too bad for the damage area here on his right thigh. And some of the lines aren't within the lines. Uh, I think I expected more from that. Uh, but everything else seems to be really good. I really love how shiny Spider-Man is now and it's metallic. Something different from the other Spider-Mans I have here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the paint. There's still one more statue that I had repainted and I will be unboxing that soon as well. But for now, that's the end of the video. Like and subscribe. This is Carl and see you in the next one.